Mr. President-elect, Madam Vice President-elect, thank you so much for this opportunity to serve the American people. I'm proud to go to work with leaders who are deeply committed to science and to centering equity in our response to this pandemic and not as a secondary concern, not as a box to check, but as a shared value woven into all of the work that we do and prioritized by every member of the Biden-Harris team. I'm enormously thankful to my research team and to my colleagues, to President Salovey and the other leadership here at Yale for supporting me in this work. And I'm grateful to all of the researchers and advocates who've blazed the trail, whose work on health equity and racial justice too often went unbelieved or overlooked across the generations. Most of all, I'm thankful to my family, to Jesse and our three children for their unwavering support and humor, and to my mother and her mother for modeling kindness, generosity, and courageous leadership through service. I have wanted to be a doctor since I was six years old, and I'm a proud general internal medicine physician today. But as I grew up, I came to understand that there were deeper dimensions to health beyond what I saw in the human biology textbooks that I borrowed from my mother's bookshelf. I grew up on St. Thomas in the US Virgin Islands, a place where people too often die too young from preventable conditions. My own father had his first stroke in his 40s and was left paralyzed. I learned there was a term for what we were, an underserved community, marginalized by place and by race. In my medical training, I saw countless patients whose conditions were shaped by factors having nothing to do with science and everything to do with broader social inequity. And now the COVID-19 crisis has laid those inequities bare. It is not a coincidence and it is not a matter of genetics that more than 70% of African-Americans and more than 60% of Latinx Americans personally know someone who has been hospitalized or died from COVID-19. The same disparities ingrained in our economy, our housing system, our food system, our justice system, and so many other areas of our society have conspired in this moment to create a grief gap that we cannot ignore. It is our societal obligation to ensure equitable access to testing, treatments, and vaccines, equitable support for those who are hurting, and equitable pathways to opportunity as we emerge from this crisis and rebuild including for those most marginalized communities, the undocumented, the incarcerated, the homeless. I'm grateful for this chance to continue this work, to earn trust and to find success through genuine partnerships with the people and communities who've been hit the hardest during and before the crisis. On this team, you will be heard you will be counted and you will be valued. Thank you. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.